everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's find some news, baby. Today we're going to take a look at the biggest news and best mods that came out this week in Farming Simulator. We're also going to take a look at the top stories that came out over the past 24 hours or so. so. Let's jump right in. And let's start off with the top stories that you need to know about from the past 24 hours or so. First up, we have 82 Studio who's bringing a few new additions to the Telix 3500 lineup with some things that are actually going to help you out in the field. A loading wagon which picks things up like the Lintner does in the game from the back and then just kind of tosses it in. He's also got a slurry spratter with a drag hose as well. Working your fields with a pickup truck might be a little bit unconventional, but the goal for the TLX 3500 in Farming Simulator 22 is to be the one truck to rule them all. And I can say it is going to be exactly that. He did show these things off during his live stream last night, as well as a few other unreleased goodies he hadn't talked about. So make sure you check that out, link below. Next up from AMG Agri Modding, they say that the Massey Ferguson 5400 drop nose is coming along nicely and that it's almost done. There will also be four different tractors coming with the pack, which he had not mentioned before, so that's some great news to wake up to this morning. We shouldn't be surprised though, as the 5400 pack from Farming Simulator 19 had three different models with it, if I remember correctly, so he's just bringing us one more this time around. I, wait, two more this time around, and I love it. As you can see, we've also got a little fact sheet for the regular 5400, which can be found in small tractors. Pricing starts around 50 grand and goes up from there. Power available will be between 86 and 156 horsepower with the Dynafor transmission. Also has a top speed of 25 miles per hour, which is gonna make it perfect for driving around your farm. Our other three top stories from the past 24 hours are all maps. And that's awesome news because we could definitely use some more. Mappers Paradise show off some new textures that they're going to be using on Wilker Farms. They say that they have blended the soil textures for great transitions between gravel, pavement, and dirt roads around the map. They also finished the field defs this week as well and say that they're working on the farmlands now. Ladies and gents, Wilker Farms is not that far away. It's not as far away as it once was anyway. A big American map that I know you guys are all familiar with. Next to last is Elk Mountain Modding, who updates us not only on the PC version, of the map, but the console version of Elk Mountain as well. Starting off with the PC version update, which is very, very close. They have added alfalfa, dry corn, and hydras and propane to the map, and they also increased the MTA or the multi terrain angle and are currently building a custom crude oil production right into the map. As for console players, we got some great news for you guys. Uh, they've changed a few things up a little bit since they're not sure of how 4X is going to work on consoles, even though we know that the new consoles like PS5 and Xbox Series can handle 4X and more because Giants have said that they can. But to be safe, Elk Mountain Modding are starting a standard size map, which is 2 kilometers by 2 kilometers, also known as 2X, and they're taking a section of the 4X Wyoming map, which would be about a quarter of it. They said that it's starting off great and are going to be posting some more pictures and information on it soon. And your last top story from the past 24 hours or so, and I say that because this came out on Friday, is Green Valley, Nebraska. It's been released for PC players from DJ Modding, not me. This is a 4X map. It can be downloaded via DJ's itch.io website right now. The map comes complete with a corn dryer, new productions, custom geo, 39 arable lands, Nebraska license plates, 21 cell points, and MTA, just to name a few. If you are on PC, you really need to check this map out. I'll link DJ's socials down below as well. That way you can check him out if you haven't already. And to answer the question, no, this unfortunately will not be coming to console. This is a PC only map, only for third party sites. Moving over to some top stories for modders from this past week that I think that you need to know about just in case you missed them. Sid Modding announced his twin screw XBR2 Combine Harvester is going to be coming back. It's going to be better than ever. This is an all platform mod and has really taken shape over the past week since we heard about it, even though I think he's been working on this for <laughs> at least a few months now. He even dropped a video specifically showing off how it looks on the inside and how the interior is going to work. It's a really sweet mod, and if you're using things that aren't exactly conventional in game, or you like to, this is definitely for you. Next up from Julian F. Modding, we have a big announcement that Alice Chalmers will be coming to Farming Simulator 22 as a licensed brand for all platforms. Before, we were only able to get this brand on PCs, but consoles had to get Agco Alice or just Agco in general. 
This is going to include the Alice Chalmers 8550 tractor, which did fail testing this past week, but has been fixed and is back with Giants for testing for all platforms. This could and likely will be the first Alice Chalmers mod to ever come to consoles, and that is huge. Something else you may have missed this week was EY modding in their Massey Ferguson 4000 series. We get a lot of questions about this, and it did fail testing due to the poly count being too high to be accepted for all platforms. But nothing to worry about. He's retextured the mod, and it is back with Giants again for testing, hopefully for the last time. This does mean that the quality will be less than it would have been before, but hey, it'll be out, so that's better than not. Uh, and maybe he'll release a higher poly count version for PCs or something like that in the future, like other guys do. That'd be pretty cool to see. One story that just kind of popped up out of the blue was Peter J. Monning, who posted a few new screenshots of his Massey Ferguson 100 and 200 series. Now, we knew about the 200 series as it was unofficially announced earlier in the week. However, we didn't know anything about the 100 series. This must be something that he's been creeping on in the background for a little while now, and it's pretty awesome to see. I cannot wait for both of these. These are mods that we had in Farming Simulator 19. As a matter of fact, both of them were in the same pack, and it's really cool to see them coming back because I know these are fan favorites. And our last big top story from this past week was FS Modding and JA Modding's John Deere 50 85e tractor mod, which we got to see some new screenshots of courtesy of FS Modding, pulling up the John Deere 600 auger wagon, which is actually not out yet and wasn't even teased until just now. We also get some configurations that'll be available on the tractor with different wheels, tires, and a front weight, and we even get to see the front loader option. FS Modding is also teasing a voucher of some sort in the background of some of these screenshots as well. This was a mod that we did also have in Farm Sim 19, but we haven't seen it yet in Farm Sim 22 nor the teaser for it. Either way, they've done a really good job of not only teasing and uh, kind of hinting at the star of the show, but also the behind the scenes mods as well. I want it all. How's about some mods that you can have right now for all platforms? The top mods from this past week, I got five of them for you that everyone should try out at least once. Give them a download, try them out. First, of course, is update 1.1 for the TLX 2020 series from 82 Studio. These have got some great additions, including new Continental dual wheels, the box it with auto load production pallets, the AB tanker, which is great for running slurry. If you saw my video earlier today, holds 50,000 liters, it's ridiculous. And of course, the 2020 got some updates and quality of life improvements all around. If you've not updated the mod yet, go get it. And if you've never used the 2020, what are you doing? Secondly on the list is the Case IH Axle Flow 250 series from Custom Modding. Of course, this had to be on the list. This was one that we really wanted to get out and see in Farming Simulator 19, but unfortunately, another 250 series was released first, which was also really nice, by the way. I'm not complaining about that. I just want more, but guess what? Now we have the option to have both and maybe even a third, fourth, or tenth later on down the road. This mod pack, yes pack, offers three different common harvesters. We have the 7250, 8250, and 9250, along with two different Draper headers. Both would built in header trailers. We've got the 40 foot and a 45 foot. New tires, the tracks modeled by custom modding, just to name a few, but there's tons more. I would be going on and on and on about it. And I've already made a video about it, so go check that out. This is definitely one that everybody needs to download ASAP. Thirdly on the list is the New Holland 11090 from Pepe978. This is one beautiful tractor, which I'd actually gotten confused with another tractor earlier in the week, the Fiat Agri 18090. Although they look the same, I failed to notice a big difference in capacities and power and the fact that they're totally different. That's my bad, and I do apologize for any misinformation that I gave out. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't discount this one or should discount it. You've got the new Holland blue and red, as well as Fiat Agri colors with the red. And you've got logos for both of them. And you can even mix and match all of that to kind of create your own Frankenstein new Holland Fiat Agri red blue thing. Pretty sweet. This is a great starting off tractor. And I think everyone should download it and try it out. It's beautiful. Here's one I bet you couldn't see on this list, at least for me, a Cultivator. Well, it's a disc arrow. The Cultivator NVFT72 disc. This is a high speed, large disc arrow and relatively low power requirement. It's such an unassuming machine. And you're just like, oh yeah, it's a disc arrow, whatever. But it's almost irreplaceable on a beginning farm. It only weighs three tons and it's towed. So you never have to worry about the weight on your tractor. It only requires 205 horsepower. So even a low end medium tractor or high end small tractor could handle this fine. It's got a 7.1 meter working width, which is very interesting. I don't think we've got anything else with that large or small of a working width. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, it'll work any starting field you've got pretty quickly. And speaking of fast, it has a top speed, a working top speed of 15 miles per hour or 25 kilometers per hour 
which is just unheard of for any tool in the game other than a self-propelled sprayer. Man, if this wall is hot, I think everybody should have this in their mod folder. And your last mod on the top five this week, another one that I think everyone should have is the farm supply pack. Another one that I'm pretty sure you're curious why I've got on this list. This is not a DJ-esque mod. Well, it kind of is. Check this out. It has not only pallets, but big bags, everything that you need for your farm and all of that. The pallets are massive as well, holding 5,000 liters instead of just the one or 2,000 that you're used to. And the big bags, or the bags rather, hold 100 liters, not 25 or 50 like others, and you can pick them up. The prices are also set flat across the board. Pallets are $1,000 and bags are $50. Sometimes you're getting a great deal. Sometimes you're still getting a good deal, but not the best deal that you could possibly get, maybe. You can buy wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, chaff, solid fertilizer, chicken food, which is probably wheat or barley. You also have silage, straw, pig food, and even TMR. This pack is massive, and if there's one pallet pack that you download and keep downloaded, this should definitely be one of it, 100%. All right, our last section today is the news and giant software information section, and I'm gonna start it like I did last week with a video that I made, <laughs> the Mac Grain Hauling Pack. The creator of this mod pack sent it over for early access and show you guys what you can expect to see from it. Big shout out to BC Bueller Farms for that. You can check them out, link below, you rock bro. In that video, I did show off the customization and features of both Mac trucks at the back, yep, we're getting to, as well as a pop trailer, oh yeah, and a semi-trailer, what, what? If you haven't already, definitely check out that video after you watch this one. Talking about Giants news, they released a little bit more information for us this week, talking about precision farming and variable rate weed control, or aka unwanted plants, as I've been referring to them as and will continue to so that I don't get demonetized. In that blog, they talked about how unwanted plants would be growing in smaller or even larger chunks around your fields, not just taking up the whole field as they do right now. And they're also gonna be able to get sea and spray added to our herbicide spreaders. This is basically a spot spraying. And uh, whenever you see an unwanted plant, it just goes, psh, it only sprays where it needs to and does not spray when it doesn't need to, saving you a ton of costs and products. If you haven't seen that blog yet, you definitely need to check that out. And lastly today, the Farming Simulator League Season 4 Beta is out now and available for PC players to download over on the Farming Simulator League website. And you can even check out the stat sheet that released this past week, which gives you all of the information on each piece of equipment that you need to know about. The FSL changes them up a little bit from base game and even adds a few machines and tools that are not available in base game. This is the only place you can get them. The season is also starting soon, so if you'd like to get involved, you can sign up over on the FSL website. Unfortunately, Season 4 is still based on Farming Simulator 19, so you need to re-download that to play Season 4 if you haven't deleted or have rather deleted it like I have. Either way, everything that you need to know about is linked below. So check it out for more information. And check out what I could do with this outro. First, it was just an informative section. Now it's aware of itself and has to convince you that it doesn't know that it's outro, unless what it thinks you want it to know is what it knows and you think that it knows. And if that's the case, well, we're all doomed because I don't know what that means. Just like the where I segue to the outro, but I do know what this means. Just like every episode of Find Some News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. No release dates for mods on myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's new and new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So what do you need to do? You need to make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you want to know about and that you need to know about going on in Farming Simulator. Well guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHand fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be there. Hope you have a great day, a great rest of your weekend, and we'll see you later. <laughs> so I might be up to something in the background. DJ might be getting a game room. More information soon.